Hello everyone, I hope you are doing great. This is Pradeep Kumar from Device Bar. In this video, we will see some of the best and simple Google Assistant voice commands that we can use on our Google TV. We are using the Google TV streamer 4K device, but this could be applicable on other common Google TV or even Android TV devices. So let's check it out. Voice commands are really helpful especially for smart TVs where it is quite difficult to type using just our remote. When we have a smart TV with Google TV then the options are limitless for this. We can experiment a lot using Google Assistant. Apart from using this to open movies or OTT apps we can do a lot more and we will see them one by one now. So these are the Google Assistant voice commands which are currently working now but this may change in the future. If that happens please let us know in the comments. We will share the updated ones. The first command is for the weather. We can simply press the microphone uh, button on our Google TV remote to do this. So I am going to press and ask what is the weather now? Currently in Chennai it's 31 degrees with fog. Today it will be partly cloudy with a forecast high 33 and a low of 26. It will detect the location and tell us the weather. Uh, we can also ask like what is the weather today in New York? Friday in New York, New York, United States it will be partly cloudy with a high of 13 and a low of 5. Also, also if we want to know the sunrise and sunset time, we can ask that too. When is the sunrise in Washington? In Washington state tomorrow, the sun will rise at 7.23 a.m. When is the sunset in Chennai? In Chennai today, sunset is at 6.19 p.m. Okay. And my most favorite voice command is, do I need an umbrella today? No. It's not expected to be rainy in Chennai today. It will be partly cloudy. Okay. That's all for the weather. The second command is for the time. We can ask like, what is the time now? It's 10.42 a.m. We can also ask like, what is the time now in London? The time in London, United Kingdom is 5.13 a.m. Yeah, that's all. The third command is for the sports score. We can ask like, India versus New Zealand cricket match score. India beat New Zealand by 4 wickets. India scored 254 for 6 in 49 overs. And New this is for the ICC Champions Trophy 2025. Uh, we can also ask for NBA, football, etc. match scores. Uh, we can ask like, what is the current NBA match score? The yeah, lost so the we have this chart here. That's all. The fourth command is for the calculations. We can ask like, what is 100 multiplied by 5? The answer is 500. Okay. Or maybe a bit difficult like, what is 100 multiplied by 5 plus 12? The answer is 512. Okay. We can also try a bit more advanced like uh, uh, what is the square root of 895? Square root of 895 is 29.917. Yeah, okay. That's all. The fifth command is for the conversions. We can ask like convert 10 kilometers to miles. 10 kilometers is 6.214 miles. Convert 10 kilometers to 7.5 liters to ounces. 7.5 meters is equivalent to 253.605 kilo ounces. 100 USD to INR. $100 is approximately 8,696 Indian rupees and 49 paise. So yeah. The sixth command is for the stock market. We can ask like, what is the current stock price of Amazon? Here is information from Grow. Okay, uh, or we can simply say SNP. No, S and P. 
the S&P 500 is down 1.39% to 5522. Yeah, that's all. The seventh command is to know the meaning of a word. We can ask like, what is the meaning of nostalgia? Meaning of nostalgia, a sentimental longing or wistful affection for a period in the past. Maybe we are watching a movie and we are confused about a word or two, then this will really come handy. A small tip, we always start our day by learning uh, the meaning of a new word. For that, we simply ask our Google Assistant like, teach me a new word. Hypnagogic. Adjective. Having to do with the state immediately before sleep. <sighs> yeah. Nice. The eighth command is for the questions and answers. We can ask like, did humans live along with dinosaurs? According to USGS.gov, no. After the dinosaurs died out, nearly 65 million years no. passed before people appeared on Earth. This However, could be a small mammals were alive. This could be a fun command, especially for children to know more about our world and stuff. Uh, we can also ask questions for our day-to-day -day problems we face. Like uh, we can ask how to remove ink stain from cloth. According to Tide, apply rubbing alcohol, hair spray or hand sanitizer to dilute the stain, making it yeah. easier to remove during the wash. That's all. The ninth command is to know the distance between two places. We can ask like distance between London and Chicago. According to distance calculator, the shortest distance between London and Chicago is 3,949.93 miles. Okay. Or we can try something like the distance between moon and earth. The moon is about 384,000 nice miles from earth. Uh, actually, only specific commands work. For example, if I ask, how far is London from Chicago? So, it won't have that uh, display. So, only certain uh, commands work here. The tenth command is to get the film synopsis or plot. We can ask like, what is the plot of Interstellar? Here's the synopsis of Interstellar. In Earth's future, you okay. will black. Uh, we can ask like, what is the plot of Person of Interest? According to Wikipedia, the series centers on a mysterious yeah. DNA computer programmer, okay. Harold Finn. We can also try like, Breaking Bad Synopsis. According to Britannica, okay. set in Albuquerque, New Mexico, Breaking Bad is the story of this could be helpful before we start watching something or we just want to listen to the plot rather than reading it, whichever works. The 11th command is for the language translations. We can ask like, how do I say, how are you in Spanish? In Spanish, that's como estas. Okay. Uh, we get the language translation along with the audio. How do I say, how are you in Tamil? In Tamil, that's Nice. That's all. The 12th command is helpful when we are just bored or sometimes lonely. We can ask like, tell me a joke. This one is an acquired taste. Why wouldn't the shrimp share its treasure? Because it was shellfish. <laughs> yes. Or we can say something like, tell me something interesting. I learned on Wikipedia that New Year's Eve is both Disney World and Disneyland's busiest day of the year. Yeah, that's all. The 13th command comes handy when we are confused about taking a decision. Like if we don't have a coin with us, we can ask like, flip a coin. It's tails. Okay. Uh, we can also do like, roll a dice. You got one. Yeah, that's all. The 14th command is when we are confused how long we should wash our hands. We can ask like, help me wash my hands. The hardest part about washing your hands is doing it long enough. I play a tune for 40 seconds. Keep at it until the music stops. <laughs> so it will play a tune for 40 seconds. Nice, that's all. 
The fifteenth command is when we can't sleep without a small bedtime story. We can ask like, "Tell me a bedtime story." The three naughty mews refused to go to bed. Sleep is boring. One said, "Let's stay up till dawn." So it will just go on. We can use this command. The sixteenth command is useful when we have kids around and they love animals. We can ask like, "What sound does a tiger make?" This is a tiger. <sighs> What sound does a dinosaur make? This is a stegosaurus. <sighs> What sound does eagle make? This is an eagle. That's all. These are the helpful voice commands we can ask using Google Assistant on our Google TV Streamer 4K and other similar devices. Thanks for watching this video. Do kindly share your questions and thoughts in the comment section. Please do subscribe if you find this video helpful. Have a wonderful day and night.